Hey guys, Dogden here, and welcome back to a brand new video live from Doha because <laughs> we are doing the impossible challenge where we're going to go to every single match at a World Cup. The first fan to ever do this. Is it possible? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, that's impossible. It's the impossible challenge, mate. We might fail, but we're taking you guys with us on this mission. Every like equals one prayer for my legs when we're running around those grounds. Starting with this highly ranked Ecuador shirt. What's your thoughts on this, Dad? Well, you know what, Theo? It's very yellow, it's clean, it's simple, and those colours come from the country's badge, don't they? It does, and I love the different shades on the, the side of the shirts, and in the badge, you can see the yellow, navy, and red. But we're grading these shirts, and I think it's fair to say it's a B. A B, this is all right. We agree on the first one, let's see. And now for the Netherlands, let's take a look. Oh my goodness, oh, the my Netherlands. That is bright orange, Theo. That's meant to resemble a lion's mane. It, it reminds me of the sun when I woke up this morning. How are they going to wear that in Qatar? Oh, They're going to get confused with the desert. Theo, I need to congratulate the Netherlands. Right. Could be a boy or a girl. That's the pregnancy scan, isn't it? If you look closely, <laughs> look, is that a boy or a girl <laughs> after three months? That's, this is a weird shirt. How would I know what a pregnancy scan is? That's true. You are a bit young. We're talking about football kits. You've gone off topic. Give me a grade. Well, you know what? This reminds me of Peter Kay. You know how he goes on stage and sings the songs like a crooner? Yeah. That's what you'd wear, isn't it? It's a lounge singer yeah, I've seen, shirt. I've seen it in person as well on the Sports Direct shoot, and it's shiny. Like, when the Dutch play, you will realise. It's a shame they'll still bottle the game. <laughs> I don't think they're going to win the tournament. Their kid's getting an A. I'm... It's one of my favourite. Wow. It's got like a velvety feel when you see it in real life, honestly. A, a lot of people are ranking this very low, but you know what? For all that we've just said, we just roasted it, but I quite like it. B. And now for Qatar, and I'll tell you what, these are the host with the least when it comes to shirts, because oh. let's be honest, it's maroon. You've got a triangle pattern there on the sleeve. Look, it's not much going on. The there. only thing that protects this kit from being a degrade is the colour. Yeah. Qatar's colour is just nice. It's like... It's like a dark red, purplish. Yes. And that for me is something I would wear all day. But the design is pointless. There's nothing going on. There's a little bit on the sleeves, which is okay. This is a bang average scene. Minimalistic, isn't it, Theo, yeah. to be fair? That maroon comes from the national flag. But you know what? The host could have done better. See, Senegal now the first kit from Africa. And thank yes. goodness they are a bit off colour. You've Finally. got yellow, green and red. That is a very African fun, funky shirt, isn't it? You can always bet on Africa to create something wacky yeah. and have loads of colours in it. And that is why I'm giving it a solid B, nearly an A. Wow, you know what? Lay Lions, they call them. The Lions, Theo. Wow. That sort of The thing. three Lions. That's England, Dad. It is, not. isn't it? The third yeah, three I know. Lions. But you know, that looks like a military stripe going through the middle. Do you like that design? I think it's okay. I love that V-neck collar. I'm giving it a B plus. It's time for England now. And look, when I first ranked this kit, I think I graded it a D. Now, I've got it in person and look at it. I've got the authentic one. I paid £120 for it. So maybe I'm not so but mom. this tastes like a Carling look. lager in a flat roofed pub. <laughs> Let's be honest, this is a bang average kit. I'm gonna give this a solid B. Right. Before I would have given it a D, but in person I just think it looks okay. And considering we're gonna bring it home for Christmas in this shirt, it's gonna be quite the memorable shirt. The trouble is, Theo, we're not. I'm giving this a I, B minus. What do you mean we're not? We're gonna take, Dad, look at this, it's coming over this shirt. We're gonna go all the way, Jude Bellingham and the lads. Iran, and this is an interesting shirt, and I hope the Ooh. men and the women of Iran are wearing this right now. It's got a white feel, hasn't it, Theo? Yeah. Loads of flags all over the place, and the Iranian leopard spots on the sleeves. What do you think of this one? Let's be honest, it's just a white shirt <laughs> with some crap design on the sleeves. Arabian it's one of leopards. the worst going to the World Cup. This is one of the worst. I've graded it. It's getting a D. Wow, I tell you what, Theo, I saw this shirt and I ran off. <laughs> it's not bad, Theo. I quite like that design. You can't make jokes like that and then not give it a D. Come on. I'm giving it a B minus. What? It's no worse than the England shirt. USA. Now let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness. It's a hockey shirt. Wayne Gretzky should be wearing this. <laughs> and he's Canadian. It's not a football shirt. It's not. Or rather soccer. But what I do like, Theo, it's got the red, white, and blue of their former colonial masters, Great Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Leave God, it in, Josh. It off. It's a hockey shirt or a basketball shirt. It's, it's not a soccer shirt. You know what? I ranked it a C. But now taking a second look, I think it should be an F for failure. Wow. Because the US of A have so many creative, beautiful World Cup designs, and they've ended up with that. Oh, what's that sound? That's the sound of all your American subscribers leaving. I'm giving it a C+. How does it get a C plus? 
it's, you know, you've roasted okay. it and you've, you've given it a it. good green. Wales now and the Welsh people will be singing about this Ooh. in the valleys. It's a red number with a subtle pattern, Theo, vertical yep. and a bit of green and a bit of white and that beautiful Welsh dragon. What do you think about this Everybody one? in Wales should be proud. The kit designer Adidas have done a welding. The Wales badge outlined in green standing out. The collar, the sleeves kept simple. This is what you call an A-grade football shirt. Wow. They should be proud to go to the World Cup in it. Wow, that is amazing. I've given this a B. I've been a little bit harsh, but looking back, this is a very nice shirt. And we've already met the Wales fans, haven't we, at the airport? We met a few Wales fans here in Qatar. They're looking forward to it. They think they can get second in the group, but they surprisingly didn't think they could beat England. Argentina now and Maradona would not sniff at this shirt, because you know what, Theo? 50% recycled ocean plastic. So you buy this shirt and you save a whale. Well, this is one of the shirts, so. Yeah, I know. It's good I'm for saving the a whale. Yeah. Everyone's roasting me. Oh, I'm saving a whale. It looks superb. And it's got the blue and white, the light blue of Argentina. It's got the black touches, which I like. Yeah. This is a proper football shirt. And if you Americans are watching, look at that. That's a football shirt. I've somehow given it a B plus. I've not given it a Oh, B. Theo, that is so harsh. Because for me, this is one of the nicest three or four shirts. Forgot, it's an A all day I long. I forgot to give it an A. I think it's because of the thick black on the on the sleeves, but in person, it looks way nicer. I'm sorry, Argentina, but you'll probably still win the World Cup. Theo, it looks nicer on a sort of slimmer version, you know, a slimmer model than you. What, um, you're calling me fat? Or, um, uh, well, I'm, I'm pleased they got a plus size for the Belgian kit. Oh, wow. <laughs> I we'll get on to that soon. I believe you said that. Get that out. Mexico now, and look at this beauty. This is top of the Aztec pyramid, Theo, because it's got a nod to ancient civilizations. Look at that pattern. I love it. Yes, It's the best shirt in this video. The Mexicans should be turning up in their millions to Qatar wearing this. The red stripes on the side, perfectly balanced with the white black texture on the front, the badge standing out, the added a sponsor. Mm, this is the best kit in the video. Therefore, it's an A star. And you should agree with me. If you don't agree with me right now, you're a mug, I'm kicking you out. Send you back to London. I agree with you, therefore I'm staying in Doha. This is probably my first or second favorite kit, Theo. There's another one coming later. I love the green, I love the red stripes. So it's an A star. Adidas. A. Poland now, Theo, and I've got to say, this shirt makes my eyes war sore. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I, I didn't think that would escape the cut, but it did apparently. But this is a white <laughs> shirt, Theo. And I do like the red touches. You've got oh that emblem God. with the white eagle. And that pattern is meant to be the sort of the nest and the feathers of the eagle. Nike template kit. I swear they got it on the Portsmouth shirt, the away shirt. Shame on you, Nike. You could have done something so good. Like Adidas done. They've always created something different with their designs for the World Cup kits. Nike have been boring. This is nothing higher than a C. Don't mind this pattern. Overall, C+. But Poland, every two Too years, high. we slate their kits. Yeah, yeah, they, they need something new. Saudi Arabia now, one of the quasi-local teams. And they've gone for this white shirt with some nice green in there, Theo. That comes yeah. from the country's badge. And it has that palms feel, like you're yeah. looking at, yes. you know, the beach palms that they always have in the Arabic countries. Is this high or low? It's banging average. It's yes. a C. I'm sorry. I agree with that Theo, but I'm going B. I, I mean, look, it could be around that range. Nothing special, but good luck, Saudi. Australia now, and this is like a tanned Jason Donovan drinking Castlemaine Forex on Bondi Beach, Theo. This has got oh. a, a fun, sunny feel. It's yellow. It's yeah. gold with green touches. You've even got an emu and a kangaroo there. Beautiful shirt. Spectacular. It ticks everything off of what is Australia. And quite frankly, they're coming to Qatar with confidence because that is ready for the desert. That kit looks ready. Well, well I'm going to give them an A minus. I'm going to give them an harsh. A. Yeah. yeah, a bit harsh. When are you going to give an A, Dad? Why are you always... Okay, you know it's like you with your beer reviews. You're always difficult trying oh, to get the high grades. Theo, Theo, only coffee in, in Qatar. Qatar. I'm no beer for months. beer for the next month. Well, Denmark now, Theo. And this is actually a protest shirt. They don't like the politics of Qatar, shall we say. Let's leave yeah. it at that. But the irony is, this is a lovely shirt. This is a lovely shirt. And the redded out design, shall we say, yeah. is something special. And Denmark are one of the underdogs for the tournament. They have a dangerous team. So this kick have become quite vintage and iconic with years to come. Overall, A minus. You've got to give fair play to Hummel as well for allowing Denmark to have say and change the kit and be part of the design because together they've come and made something special. So. I've given it a B. I probably should have put it an A, but we'll stick with that. France now, and this is as classy as an aged Bordeaux wine, isn't it, Theo? <laughs> you've got that navy blue, you've got a yeah. golden cockerel, the Nike swoosh, and a bit of a button-down collar, eh? 
but it's bog standard. The ones that ho hold the trophy, they need to make something special, something everybody else can't do because they'll have that gold badge on the side. It's bog standard, it's average, it's got a bit of a collar going on. It's just dark blue with a splash of gold. I think it's nice leisure wear. I can see this being worn on the golf course, to be quite honest, rather yeah. than the football pitch. B plus. I've somehow given it a B. Yes. Maybe from distance, I'm still, it's very hard to mess up a front shirt. I think their logo is lovely, but Nike, I'm giving you a B. Tunisia now, and it's another red shirt, but what makes this different is the patterns on there, Theo. Ooh. That is the armor worn by ancient Tunisian soldiers. Wow. And if you look closely, you've got a couple of shields here, which remind me of the stone roses. You won't remember that, it's too early for you. Do you not think that the logo and the kappa are too high up on the kit? It doesn't Ooh. feel normal. Yes, that is, now that you say that, Theo, that's right, B plus. I've given it a C. I like Ooh. the fact that design meets something. The first time I found that information out was today for you. Yes. So maybe I would have bumped it up to a C plus, but I'm giving it a C. The logo feels weird up here. Costa Rica now, and the first thing to say, Theo, this is recycled polyester. That's a good thing for the planet, isn't yeah, it, Theo? Yeah, it's amazing. That. What a new balance. But it's another red shirt. And you know those blue sleeves, Theo? They look like a captain's armband. They're too big, aren't they? No, they just seem a little bit weird just sticking there on the blue. I guess they wanted to get all the colors in of Costa Rica. But overall, this kit doesn't have much texture on the front. I would buy this and wear this because I love I like, the country. Yeah, I like the Football Nation logo. Yes. But I don't like the kit, so I'm giving it a C. And I'm giving it a B minus. And Germany now, and this looks more Newcastle than Nuremberg, doesn't it, Theo? But you've got what? this big black stripe <laughs> and the white stripes. And you've got those logos in the middle, a bit of the West German flag, or what, the German flag, yeah. around the collar. I thought going back in time there. I'm sorry about that. Some people rate this very high. What do you think? For me, it's classic Adidas X Germany, the black down the middle. It's new, it has a modern feel, but it could also be a vintage kit. It's getting an A. Wow. It's dear. one of my favorite kits this year because Germany don't often go for this big black line down the middle with the logos centralized and I think it clicks. Do you know what Theo, the away kit, if we do that video, we'll get an A, but I'm giving this Ooh. a B, Japan now. Feast wow. your eyes on this beauty, Theo, because this is inspired by the ancient art of origami, which is folding paper. And you've got those three-legged crows, and this is Honestly. all about speed and movement. And it's a beautiful shirt. Dad, Loads of blues in there, Theo. I said the best kit in the video is Mexico. I'm now rethinking yeah. it. it could could be Japan. The triangular origami feel, as you mentioned, with the dark to light blue, and the Japan logo standing out with the red, white, black. Joint with Mexico is the nicest shirt in the tournament, therefore I've got to upgrade to an A star, A plus. Wow, so the graphic will say A because this is what the graphic design yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, we've both gone for an A star. We have. Mexico and Japan are the winners of this video. And Spain, I've got to say, this is an elegant shirt, Theo. You've got the deep red, you've got the yellow gold and a bit of black in there. Lovely shirt. Dad, it's bog standard. It's a red shirt with no design on it. They've had much better in the past. How are you speaking highly? Because it's classy, Theo. That's why it's simplistic, minimalistic. I'm gonna give this an A minus. I've given it a B and I'm having second thoughts. I think it should be a C. And now for the Red Devils, Belgium, and I am wearing the shirt and oh my goodness, yeah. look at the fiery sleeves. Now, some people think this is a horrible shirt. It looks like and feels like an advert for a fast food chain. Like, yeah. you know, the flaming burger of a Mc... Looks like a Nando's Zinger burger. Or something. A KFC Zinger burger is what you get when you look at this Belgium shirt. This is a solid B sort of grade. It's nothing special. I've been seeing people online roast this. Yes. And I don't get why. Uh, a but minus. no one ever loves it. If you like it or yes. hate it, then the average is pretty low overall. Right, that is a very good point. A minus. Canada, and this is a souvenir that you buy for your nan at Niagara Falls. Let's be honest, it's very, very simple. And they've not I changed love the it, thinking that you put into this. I, I mean, really want to go to Canada. It's lovely. But this shirt puts me off it. I mean, I booked a skiing holiday there. I saw the shirt and I cancelled it. Oh no, that is such a shame. But you know, <laughs> the, the maple leaf there. I mean, that is the symbol of a Canada. A star in acting, by the way. This is a power league shirt. It's a C plus for me. C plus, I think it should be lower. My lowest grade yet, it's getting an E. Oh an my e. goodness, Theo. A, I'm sorry. I mean, I roasted it, but it's not an E. Okay, Theo, this video's gone on too long. Let's take a break and play some Tetris, because this Croatia shirt reminds me of Tetris. I was looking forward to the Tetris game, but I see what you're saying. It is a bit weird. It's red dots all over the gaff. At least they mixed it up from what they always do, which is just the red squares across the whole shirt. Yes. They've gone for a few instead. I'm giving it a D. Wow, ni dobra, da. Ni dobra. Ni because dobra. the thing about this shirt, though, it's just it a is, bit all over the place. It is it? the most recognizable shirt in world football. You know straight yeah. away it's Croatian, yeah. but it's just got a bit dull. It's not original anymore. I know this is a modern twist on it. 
I've been quite kind, B minus. I want to give it, you B just minus. roasted it and given it a B minus. Wow, yeah. that's how your brain works. But well, bad. when we see it on the pitch, it might be different though. It might yeah. just look good. Morocco have come up with another red shirt there oh. with the, the green rectangles in there. It's different, but I don't like how the green line stops and all of a sudden Puma take over. I'm going to be straight up, this is a D as well. If I've given Croatia a D, then I have to give Morocco. This has got a very 1970s feel. I do like the V-neck, but apart from that, it's dull. Uh, give it a C. Brazil have gone for a yellow number with a subtle Jaguar yeah. pattern that represents speed, Theo. One yeah. thing I don't like about this, it's too faded. Yeah, I, I, the thing is, Brazil, you're born with a, a beautiful yellow and green. Whatever they put on the shirt, it looks good. Yes. And I think I like how the, the collars, if you zoom into the collars and sleeves, it slides in from yellow to dark green. Yes. So it's a bit of a shade fade feel. I think this is one of the nicest shirts, but they didn't have to do much with it. Giving it a B, Theo. I'm going to give it an A. No, it's yes, not an A. It's not it, an A. It's one of the nicest. This is Dan. It's not an Why? A. Because don't you don't like the collar. I know you don't like the collar. Honestly. But with Brazil, it's hard to mess it up. Cameroon, and this is a deconstruction of the Cameroonian flag. There's greens, yeah. there's yellows, there's reds, there's blacks. But you know what? Looking at this, Theo, at that shape here, yeah. it looks like a robot. I know, it's, it's a bit like odd. It's got a space invaders thing It looks thing like going your lungs. On. Or your rib cage. Yeah, your rib cage. Yeah breaking through. Yes. I think this is one of the best kits of the video. Wow. I love oh. when an African country just goes wacky with loads of colours and this is it. There's too much going on. There's exactly. Skeleton so thing. when it's too boring, you call it boring. When there's too much going on, it's too much going on. What is there to impress you? Nothing. You're a mug. B. I'm giving it an A. Come on. One of the African countries needs an A grade and that's the kit for Very it. generous, but good luck Cameroon. Danas, Nasha, Serbia. And I'll tell you what, Theo, this is going to get a high bell grade if you ask wow. me. Do you like How that? do you pull these out of the bag? Do you, do you like that? It was very <laughs> good. Pretty simple elsewhere of that. The logo in white stands out. It's getting a B. Could argue it's another red shirt, but for me, it's just that little bit up from that. A minus. A, it's one of your highest. A minus, yes. Switzerland, surely we can bank on them to drop a nice shirt, eh, Theo? <laughs> I'll need an ambulance to see this shirt because it's oh. disgusting. Oh my goodness. I'll need an ambulance. Oh, luckily you've ordered me one. Look at the logo. You've oh me my one. goodness. Yeah. But what do you think about this? I think we should it's take all... a Swiss army knife to this. Grab, right. grab the bin. Yeah, put it in the grab bin. Grab the bin. Johnny, Bro, you know what? In the bin, Johnny. Right, dog dad's throwing it away. That gets a C. You know why? Because it's another red it's shirt. It's C for you. It's, it's like red. an E. It's, it's got C some lines like across e. it. There's nothing special about that shirt. We're not picking it up. We're throwing it. It's in the bin. It's my lowest rank. It's getting an E. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm giving it a C. Ghana, now we expect colour and we have got delivery of colour. Well, first of all, I love that black star in the middle, Theo. Yeah. Then you You've got the red, you've got the yellow, you've got the green of the national flag. I mean, it's very white otherwise, but it's nice, isn't it? Why have they gone white? They should be a vibrant African country. Go out there like Cameroon. Release a statement. Getting angry about this. You are, aren't you? Yeah. I'm giving it an E. I'm sorry, change my no. mind. Change my mind, that does a better. If we're ranking the away kits, that's all right from Ghana. I actually quite like it. I'm not sure why, because a lot of it is very minimalist and white. Okay. But there's enough splashes of color in different places. A minus. Portugal, wow, this is a special one, Theo. You've got the red, you've got the green. They've got that two-tone thing going like on. Ronaldinho, yeah? But do you like it? No. And I watched it live against Nigeria last, I mean, Portugal, a great Bruno Fernandes running the show. Ronaldo is a drama queen. Portugal want to succeed, Ronaldo should be on the bench. All the boys are going to be repping this kit and it actually looks okay. What, what grade are you giving it? I'm still making my mind. Theo, I'm going to look at my note. I'm giving it a B overall. I'm giving it, it a B as well. Yeah, I feel that. Because it looks a bit rugby. It could become a classic. I think this is a Marmite I can kit. see Nuno Mensch scoring a screamer in that shirt. Now the prize for the crappest animal in world sport. It goes to the lion on South Korea's shirt, Theo. Just look at that. That line wouldn't last a minute in Gangnam, would it, Theo? Gangnam style. Yeah. What bum Gangnam style? Please don't sing. Please what? don't sing. What? No, what? No, what? No, no, don't. See, I just no. put that song back in your head. If he scores, Gangnam Style. Yes, come on. 20k likes and I will find Hyung Min Sun at his hotel here in Doha and make him do the Gangnam Style celebration. I'm giving it a C. It's a very fluorescent kit. A yeah. big gun on the sides. It's all a bit mad. But look good on the pitch. I'm giving it... standing out anyway. Yeah, go on. Bit harsh. B. And finally, Uruguay Theo. The pale blue shirt with a white colour. Bit of a button going I on there. I used to there. like this kit and I took it back. The collar's weird, yeah. and the sleeve just has a thin bit of white, and then what else is going on? It's not, it's not a kit to... Everyone's calling Uruguay the underdog, and since then it's lost its taste. It's become saturated. Everyone's talking about them. Therefore, I've gone off their kit. I think I graded it a B before. It's now going to have to be a D. Wow. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. I do actually feel. I know it's one of those minimalist kits that you either like or mug. don't. I You're like the pale blue. I'm giving it a B+. <laughs> A B plus. I'm gonna leave now before Theo starts singing. See ya. What? 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 Josh, cut it quick! What? 